Hi everyone, um, so we've been away for a few days, hope you haven't missed us too much, if you follow us on Instagram you'll probably know that we've just, just been on a short staycation, uh, I forgot to take my Nespresso machine, uh, big mistake, I, I thought it'd be crazy to take that but actually looking back I'm going to take me a Senza Mini next time if I've still got it. Um, anyway, I thought we'd come back today and look at just do a simple unboxing and review of these uh, Boredom double wall glasses. Now I've been asked, over the course of running this channel I've been asked about five or six times I think to do these um, a review of these because people just want to see them in real life don't they? I'd never even sort of heard of double wall glasses until doing these videos so what, I'd do to, what I thought I'd do is just unbox them, give you a look at them, give you a look at three different sizes we've got the 25 uh, centil well, centiliter is it? Uh, so 250 milliliter ones uh, the 350 milliliter ones which is similar to like a, a recipe glass size from Nespresso I'll put them side by side as well and we've got the 45 centiliter ones which is you know bigger looking more like a travel mug size but you know a bigger size um, I can do a Nespresso specific review in future if you want that you know putting them in the machines and things to make sure they fit but I'll try and give you some info as we go but this is just for everyone really whatever you want if you, whether you want them for coffee whether you're wanting them for anything, uh, soup even, it says you can use them. But let's have a, let's get one open. Let's start, we'll get one open now, without breaking the box. They're available in a lot of different places, by the way. I've got these on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description, just to show you where they are on Amazon. I wasn't expecting them to be bubble wrapped. I don't know what I was, what I was expecting. But this is the 25 centilitre size. So that's your first look at them. Let's just run through a few details about them. So they're made of something called borosilicate glass, um, which is more resistant to like thermal shock, which is why they're so good for uh, hot drinks and cold drinks, even ice cream. You can put ice cream in them and serve that. Uh, they're double walled, which means they've got like two layers of glass. They're, they're really light. Surprised how light they are compared to the uh, Nespresso ones. But they're double walled, so they've got two layers of glass, and in between those two layers, there's um, air, like a vacuum of air. And basically what that does is acts as insulation. So it's supposed to um, keep hot, hot coffee hotter for longer, uh, cold, and, but without burning your hands as well. The heat doesn't come through the same way. So, so because the heat doesn't escape, it stays in the glass, stays hotter for longer, apparently. Um, and then on the bottom here, there's like a, a little seal, silicone thing, and the pressure gets released out of there just to ensure that inside the glass the pressure stays correct so it doesn't blow the thing up, I'm guessing. Um, so that's the 25 centiliter size. Is there any... Yeah, I'll give you the um, dimensions of those as well. So they're 9.2 centimeters high uh, and then they're 8.9 deep and wide. So like circle, 8.9. Uh, so let's get the other ones out. This is the 35... You can see it there. 35 litres, it's 0.35 litres, isn't it? So get inside. That's where you need nails, isn't it? Sadly, I don't have many nails. Just growing for these videos. I won't leave. Right, so let's get these ones out. I just thought it would be interesting to get a few different sizes and for you to see the actual size difference. Like I say, if you need me to, I can put them in the machines one day. I've got the settees there, so I'll put it in that just to show you. Because I remember my mum when she was buying some glasses, I've said this on a video in the past, she was frightened to death really of buying them because she didn't know whether they'd fit a machine, there wasn't a lot of information on sizing. Both of them are quite good for that, they've given quite a lot of information as to the actual height of them. And these are the, um, where is it, where does it say it? There, 0.45 litre size. So four, 45 centilitres, I think that is. Second. I'll just get those opened up. We can see they're massive, aren't they? They really are tall. I, I did test these. These are more like a sort of a, if you're interested in an espresso thing, more like a, a recipe glass size, these ones. Um, let's put that side by side now, actually. I'll do, I can do this with other ones if you want, but they're slightly smaller. And off the top of my head, what that tells me is the 0.35 litre size will fit under a, a Senza Mini, because that does. So pretty much the smallest Nespresso machine is going to fit that, but these are really tall look. 
So let's have a look at the dimensions of those. So we said this was 6.2 centimetres high. Um, and that's actually 3 millimetres... Oh, sorry, no, not 6.2. The espresso size, which I don't have, um, they are 6.2 centimetres high. And they're a 0 0.08 litre. And they're actually just a couple of centimetres... Um, a couple of millimetres smaller than the View espresso cups. I was intending to do this in one video, but it's just sort of coming out this way. Um, so the next one, we said that this one, the 0 0.2, that is... 9.2 centimeters high and 8.9 wide. This one is 11.6 centimeters high and 8.8 .8 wide. And then this big one over here, the 0.45 liter, that's 14.8 centimeters high and 8.8 .8 wide again. Um, so we've explained the double wall, we've explained the silicone valve, the dishwasher safe, the microwave safe, and the oven safe up to 176 degrees celsius or 350 fahrenheit i think that's what it said so what do you think of them do you, do you like them um i'll tell you what we'll do we'll pause the video and i'll pour some coffee into one of them i'll decide which in a second but we'll just pause the video for a second now right so what i've actually thought it'd be nice to do is just make a latte macchiato because they're the ones are they? they're the drinks that really show off um the glasses and what you know what it looks like um so i just want to show you the biggest one the 0.45 that does fit in nicely into the settees, but it probably, that'll give you an idea of whether it'll fit the other machines, probably not, to be honest with you, um, a lot of them. But we'll make it with, this is a similar size to a recipe glass. So what, oh, that's what I wanted to point out. It says on them that the, what does it say again? Go on, remind me. Mouth blown. Mouth blown, that's it, yeah. You just about see it there. Mouth blown, so, my wife said that was a good point, <laughs> a good thing to point out. Doesn't really bother me, but my wife said that. Uh, but yeah, we'll make a latte macchiato. It's just, I've set the arrochino off already. Extra froth setting. Just so you can see what the coffee looks like. One thing I will, another thing I'll say, my wife, when she, she picked the glasses up then, she was shocked like I was, shocked like I was, as to how light they were. They really, really are light glasses. So let's pour this out. Wow. See how frothy that is, the extra froth setting from the arrochino. Four. Got a review of this on the channel in case you're interested in that. We'll just pop this back on. Like I say, this is a similar size, the 0.35 one, if not exactly the same size, to the recipe glasses that Nespresso make. Try and get that into some better light for you now. You can see that. So they are quite cool looking, aren't they? I quite like that. Something different. They're not, I'll be honest with you personally, they're not, I, I, I don't know. I'd have to try them next to the view glasses. Maybe I should make a few coffees one time if you'd be interested to see that with them side by side with the view glasses. Um, but if there's anything else you want to know, anything that I've missed, um, questions you have, leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, if I can answer them, I will. Uh, but they are quite a smart looking thing. Can't stop looking at them. Um, but they're a bit too rounded for my personal taste, like, I think. But it's, everyone's, everyone's different, aren't they? Um, but maybe I'll get used to them. Over time, they might be a grower. Yeah, I just thought I'd cut in again here because I finished the video. And we picked the glasses up again. And with the drinking even, they are so, so light. Honestly, you won't believe how light they are when you, if you get these. When you pick them up. Considering how they, I mean, they look airy and bubbly, but that is just so light. So I can't emphasize that enough. I just thought it was worth saying it again more firmly. Right, so I was just sat there then thinking, you know, if I watched a review about these glasses uh, and they're double walled and they were to keep the coffee hot, I'd want to know, do they keep the coffee hot longer than standard? Saying that these are the, uh, the Nespresso glasses. So we'll see. I'm just going to pour some, I boil the kettle, I'm going to pour some boiling water in. I'll take a temperature uh, measurement now. We'll come back in 10 minutes, do it again. 10 minutes, do it again, up until half an hour. So we'll do three measurements, and then we can see how it keeps the water hot, or how hot it keeps the water in that time. So these are a similar size cups, so I'll fill them up to a similar level. It's not gonna be perfect, but a similar level. I think that looks about right. And we'll just take the temperature and see what it is. 
So this one's starting out at 93.2. And this one's at 86.7. Now I'm not sure that's whether that's because I poured it into that one second or whether it's already doing its work, you know, this double walled um, glasses, these double the bottom ones. But we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll see how they've fared. Right, so it's been 10 minutes, so we'll just see what temperature they're at now. So the boredom glasses are at 70, roughly, 70.1. And then espresso, we're at 64.6. .6. So there is a difference. We'll come back in 10 minutes time, check them one more time. So we're now about 20 minutes in, roughly, um, from when we first started. So let's just test this one. This is the boredom one again. So 58.6, and then we'll go for the Nespresso one, 54.6. So it, I hope that's giving you a bit of an idea as to whether, you know, if you're buying these to replace Nespresso ones, or if you're buying them to replace some of your other cups, whether that's going to be enough of a difference there to convince you, um, or if you, you know, if you prefer one of another design, but they're not double walled, or, you know, hopefully that's giving you some kind of idea as to the temperature and how it keeps hold of the temperature. Yeah, and just to say though, I did just have a taste of them, um, and it does make a difference. It's only four degrees, but I've got to be honest, it really does make a difference to the, the heat of the coffee in your mouth. Um, so in that sense, it, if you're wanting the coffee to last a long time, then it could could be worth buying. Um, a note on design, they, do, they are really light, as we mentioned. Um, however, my wife did say, uh, and I, I thought the same thing really, that they, they do have that slight test like test tubey feel about them they don't feel like glass in that sense um but they are you know it's all personal taste isn't it but i hope you're glad well hope you're glad to have us back you might not be hopefully you are uh we've, we've got plenty of videos planned i'll tell you what i'll do just before we go i'll just show you what we've got coming up this just arrived today I've been asked for this a lot as well and I thought I'd best get it. There's a review of that coming, so stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Check out our other videos. Check out our view recipe glasses and reviews and the view collection cup reviews. Let us know if you've got any ideas for videos you want me to do with these before you know, we decide what we whether I sell them on or not. But thanks for watching and bye for now.